Hey guys, welcome to another plug-in tutorial today, it's on vehicles. So as you can see around me, there are lots of bikes and cars which you can actually get in and drive about. So this is a really cool plug-in which um, <clears throat> you can buy off Spigot, it is a premium plug-in. But uh, as you can see, it's definitely worth it, look how cool some of these vehicles are. You can also change um, the speeds and the colours and blocks and various things like that in the config file. So we're going to go through that later, but now I'm going to show you some of the commands. So if you do help uh, vehicles, it will show you all, you all the commands. So obviously there are shops in the form of GUI, so we can do bike shop. And here we go. There are three by default and I've added uh, the white bike. Um, and you can see the price there, so you can buy it if you have enough money and it will give it to you in the form of a chest. So all you have to do is just right click the chest um, to pop it down. You can do it with uh, any, any one you want. And to pick it back up, you hold shift and right click and kapoof, it will go back into your inventory. So there are lots of different ones. Uh, as you can see, there are different colors and the dev is going to be adding sounds, particles, and some other stuff like that really soon. So that's very, very cool. But let's get driving, that's, that's what you guys want to see. Um, so let's go ahead and drive this red bike here. So as you can see, if you press W, we will go forwards, D to go right, A to go left. It's much easier than controlling a boat. And the further we go, the faster we will go. It also goes over half slabs and stairs, which is cool. That's a really nice feature. And if you want to download this um, car garage thing that I downloaded, uh, I will leave a link to that and the plugin in the description. So it does go rather fast, and if you hold S, it will slow down um, eventually. It's not the best brake, but we're gonna slow down a bit and go in the parking space, there we go. Nicely done. And we're going to have a go in a car. Let's go in a pink car. Um, a gent car, actually. So, um, this is pretty cool. It does wiggle about a bit, but, uh, you know, it is Minecraft. There aren't meant to be cars. Um, I believe it does go backwards as well. There we go. So, there is a reverse gear. And obviously, we can steer it while going backwards. Kind of steers like a tank, to be honest. Um, so, let's go ahead and park this. So if you had that GTA plugin that I covered uh, quite a while ago, this would be a great add-on to that. And you can even download protection for um, the bikes and cars, which is a nice feature. Uh, so oh, I'm just going to park it there. <laughs> terrible, terrible parking space. So you can also do get car followed by the name, such as um, black. You can also do, obviously, get bike. You can do car list, bike list, and that will just tell you which ones exist. Um, I've been through the, the GUI shops, and I think the only thing to do is you can actually remove them um, by doing vehicle clear. So vehicle clear, and then a radius such as two. Um, so if I stand really close to it, it will delete it. But uh, yeah, that is the plugin. Um, we're going to go into the config file now and show you how you can make brand new bikes, uh, depending on which color you want. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go there now. So here we are in the config file, and as you can see, there is a lot that you can edit. So at the top, you can uh, set the allowed world. So if you had a parkour world, you obviously wouldn't want cars and bikes flying about all over the place. Remove bike on rider death. Uh, I think that's quite good, um, that's a nice feature, so if you get shot um, with an arrow or something, the uh, bike will be deleted and remove car on ride or die, yes true as well. You can change the bike shop size if you create loads more, so obviously that's um, either 9, 18, 27, etc. Um, and you can change the title with uh, formatting codes. Now here you... Um, you edit all of the slots. So here I created my white bike. If we wanted to create a brand new one, obviously copy and paste one that already exists. Uh, change the number so it doesn't overlap. Change the bike type. Remember what you call it because we will um, we'll be making it down below. The price, you can obviously edit that. And if you change that, make sure you change it in the law. And you can obviously uh, edit everything in here as well. So we're going to create a sand bike. <laughs> Brand new sand bike. No idea 
no that wouldn't work <laughs> no chance of that working in real life but uh, there you go um, so once you've done that here um, or you could edit the car shock as well go down to bikes and as you can see there are uh, all of our bikes here so very very straightforward copy and paste the pre-existing one change the name to what we called it which was sand uh, once you've done that you can uh, also change the permission node so maybe only donators could get cars um, which is a nice feature you can change the uh, display name so sand bike there we go don't mess around with the wheel url or the front light or the back light just leave that alone uh, that's fine how it is you can change the back material and the seat so instead of wall let's go with sand make sure you um, name it correctly if you choose something like lapis lazuli, um, that's not even how you pronounce it, but <laughs> I've always always said it like that. And make sure you um, do it in the correct way, or you will have issues. Uh, max speed. So these go rather fast. I would actually halve that. And where it says byte, that is actually metadata. So if we scroll up to uh, the red bike. 14 is in fact red, uh, if you know the metadata for wall and stained clay. And obviously 15 is black, 1 is orange, 2 is magenta, 3 is lime, uh, I think so. So yeah, that's how you do that. Um, and the back material step, I would leave that alone. Maybe you could change that to um, a different type of step. So 6, I think that's nether. Uh, 1 might be the normal one, or wood something like that. You can customize this however much you like and it's very straightforward and then you can mess about driving these all over your world. So that's the plugin. You can obviously get it off Spigot. Subscribe, like, comment and I'll see you next time.